This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Belothian, Virginia. Today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two bath home. This home is located in an interesting location. We have a long unpaved driveway here that takes us to our subject property. Uh, it takes us past their neighbor's pool and tennis court. Uh, as a side note, you always want to make good friends with your neighbors. And this is an unusual property, and I'm excited to bring it to you. When we go in a grocery store, arguably one of the most least attractive food items is going to be raw chicken. Uh, that chicken is in its natural state. Well, technically it's not in its natural state. I guess in its natural state, it would be uh, relaxing with friends and family uh, and doing what chickens do. But uh, after its demise, it ends up in a grocery store uh, in a package and definitely does not look appetizing. However, no cook or no chef goes into a grocery store and says, oh my gosh, this chicken looks absolutely awful. Instead, they think of what is going to happen after they work on that chicken and transform it. And that could be with seasoning. It could be baked, blackened, stir fried, broiled, grilled, uh, any number of different cooking techniques in order to make that chicken absolutely succulent when it's done. I'm gonna stop right here because my stomach is getting aroused. I have not had lunch yet and um, this is making me much hungrier than I should be. Uh, and I use that food analogy to explain that this is a rehab property. And so sometimes when I cover rehab properties, people will say, well, gosh, Max, that needs a lot of work. And yeah, it does need a lot of work. However, you've got to think of the potential. And in real estate, the potential is illustrated by the numbers. If the numbers make sense, then the potential is there. If the numbers don't make sense, it's a waste of time. Now, this house, the numbers make sense. I've looked at them, and the reason I say that is because you cannot touch this area, this neighborhood, for the price that this home is being offered at in conjunction with your rehab costs. Now, your rehab costs could vary widely. However, when you are done, you are going to have a home that's going to be at the lower end of the range for this area that has very good schools, great school scores, and is super convenient. A lot of people really love the area here in Midlothian. We also have the benefit of a nice large lot. Uh, so we've got a couple of things going for us. Now, one of the things that I notice when I look at this home, and we'll see this on the inside, is that several, at least two renovations were made on this home already. Renovations slash additions. We can look at the foundation, that's a giveaway, as well as the siding and the roofing and tell what was original and what was not original. And that's outside of looking at property records, which sometimes will illustrate for us what was done to a property as well. Not always, but in many cases it will. So I can see at least two additions that were put onto this home. And one of them in particular for the primary suite uh, was a very good renovation from the standpoint. It gives us nice space for a primary suite that we would expect here in today's homes. The other big benefit is when an owner occupant or somebody that's gonna live in a home, when they actually buy and renovate, they're not looking at it from the standpoint of profit. If uh, someone comes to this home and they're an investor, they're going to buy, renovate, and then hopefully they're gonna sell at a profit. That profit is not needed by the purchaser of an owner-occupied home. That's gonna be what we call instant equity. So if they put a total of $300,000 into a property, that's both for acquisition and for renovation, and the property appraises at 360, their equity, their instant equity was $60,000. So that's money, of course, that they can put in their pocket when they sell. Uh, if they need to refinance, that's already equity there. Uh, it's basically money in the property for getting the home of their dream. Uh, there is special financing available that will combine the purchase price and the renovation together into one loan. Each lender has their own type of program for that purpose. Uh, the most common is called the 203K loan. Uh, and that basically is a renovation loan that allow you to purchase and renovate in one loan. Okay, let's go on in and take a look. 
Now, one of the things I noticed from the exterior, we've got a very tall house here, uh, yet a drop ceiling has been put in, which is not super common for residential use. You see drop ceilings a lot in commercial use, but look here, this illustrates it a little bit better. If we look up there, you can see that the window goes above the actual ceiling. So if I were doing this renovation, I would take out that drop ceiling and then have a much bigger, a much taller uh, ceiling. We'll see that in a future room here and it would give us much more volume here in this home. This is gonna be bedroom number one. One of the other considerations when looking at a home like this is, does the floor plan, does the current configuration make sense? And uh, I would venture to say that it probably makes sense to take out one of these walls. Uh, if it is a load bearing wall, a contractor can evaluate what can be done uh, in order to open it, but still have the home structurally sound. Okay, this room is where we have the tall ceiling. So you can see here that these are the uh, original ceiling heights, very tall for residential purposes. Directly back is gonna be our kitchen. Now, one of the things that uh, may make sense, and I'll speak about this when we get to uh, another room, uh, would be taking a wall out and making this a open concept, a more open concept, and combining our kitchen and our family room area uh, like we commonly see here in homes today. Now, this is on the back addition that we saw from the exterior. They made this a laundry room, which is a very common usage. Our door, of course, going back out. We know our electrical has been upgraded at some point, but it probably uh, might be able to use uh, some additional uh, service, which is not a big deal, electric water heater. And we have a full bath here on the back. Now, this room actually slopes, and you won't be able to see it really on video, but we definitely have a slope there. Uh, so there would be some foundation work that would be needed in this home. And uh, here is the other angle for this full bath. This is a um, nice addition to have uh, to a three bedroom or four bedroom home. Okay, we are now going to go into what would commonly be the dining room area. And I, like I said, I would probably open this up and take that wall out there and just make it one big open space. Once again, we've got the nice tall ceilings here. Uh, there is no real water damage here in the home. The, the, um, the, there are a little bit of signs of uh, potentially some damage in the past, but nothing significant here as far as uh, water damage, which is very expensive in many cases once you start to experience it. Um, a lot of this is um, cosmetic, but there would of course be some major work needed in this home. Now, I mentioned taking a wall out. We always have to be cognizant of when we have uh, chimneys. Chimneys, of course, can be in the middle of the home, a little tougher to take them out, it can be done, but we would not have to contend with that here uh, because that wall is not attached to that chimney. All right, so we have covered here the major portion of the home. I'm taking you now into our primary suite. This is an addition and it starts right here. We can also tell by the building materials uh, that this is definitely newer space. Great floor plan as far as the size that we get here in this primary. Uh, this home coming in um, around 12, 1300 square feet. Uh, it's nice to have a really good size primary bedroom. A lot of older homes uh, do not have that. So this is a, definitely a plus. In addition to that, We've got a walk-in closet, another nice uh, benefit here of having a home uh, that's already been uh, partially renovated to give us a primary suite. And of course, our full bath. Now with the renovation loan, with the 203K, the lender will have you pick out a consultant. There are consultants that are authorized by HUD to help you through the process and their role, they have a few things that are part of their role. Uh, number one is to protect the borrower, okay? We wanna always make sure our borrowers are protected in whatever they do. That's the role of a good agent, that's the role of a good lender, that's the role of a 203K consultant. Number two, they're gonna advise you on things to think about. They do not have a financial interest in 
doing the work. Uh, they are strictly paid for their expertise and their consulting services. So they're going to shoot straight with you and let you know exactly uh, what they think as far as your plan and how you're going to ex execute your renovation. Th that is basically the way the process works. Your contractor is chosen by you and they have to meet certain criteria. It can't be your cousin who took carpentry for half a semester in the local uh, Botech school. It's gotta be a legitimate contractor. In many cases, uh, it's gotta be a class A contractor, especially for something of this size. Uh, that is the process of how it works. Uh, your contractor gets paid in what we call draws. So they do, let's say 25% of the work, they get 25% of the price. They do more and then it continues, of course, until completion. So you're not putting out all of the money for renovation and hoping that they finish as agreed on time. Wow, that was a mouthful, but I'm glad I was able to bring this to you because this just offers another opportunity for a buyer that's ambitious. And it obviously it takes work, but the payoff is tremendous. If you can finish a home and, and move in with 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars or more in equity, for a lot of people, that's more than they'd ever be able to save. And you did it only by having the will, the drive motivation to see something beyond raw chicken. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. You all be safe. Have a great day.